Today on the Automation Minute, we're going to take a look at a question that came in over on the blog. I'll put the link in the description to the article. But it was somebody who had a question about a system they had. So this person, they want to get data out of the PLC. And what they have installed in the field is a Micrologix 1200. It sounded like it was a single port model. And that single port was connected to an HMI. I don't know what brand. But it was uh, the protocol was being used was Modbus RTU. All right. So channel zero set up for Modbus RTU. That's all I got. Don't know, don't know any other settings. So um, he was asking, how can I also connect into this port using the, and he's very specific here, 1761 net AIC. Call it a card, it's not a card, but um, how do I connect to that? And then on my PC, get data using Python or C shop. So I thought this was an interesting question because first of all, the first thing I says is, look, your 1761 AIC manual is phenomenal. That manual has all kinds of diagrams and examples. I mean, you're really going to ask your, yourself this question. You know, we know that it's RS-232 on the 1200 and your HMI, is that 485 or 232? I don't know. You didn't tell me, but I'm guessing there's no black box in there to change it from 232 to 485 because you didn't mention one. So it's probably 232 as well. So if you read the book on the AIC Plus, you will see that it has two 232 ports and one 485 port. And so, you know, you could buy a uh, USB to 485 converter for your laptop, one that's compatible with Python and C Shop, and uh, connect them to the third port on the AC Plus, or just get two net AICs and, you know, run a little piece of wire between them, and then, um, you know, just use 232 out of your computer. But, you know, you probably... I don't think it's going to be more expensive to get a USB to 45 port than it will be to get a USB to 232 port, but I could be wrong on that. So in any case, I told him that. And then I said, look, as far as, you know, Python and C Shop, do you know how to, you know, do the programming for Modbus RTU? Because if you don't, you're going to have to find that. You know, typically we use a driver or a library. And there are some great free ones out there for Ethan IP. I've never looked for... Um, you know, for a Modbus RTU, but I'm sure there are some out there, right? And, uh, you know, that's what you're going to need in your Java C plus. You're going to need to know. And then, you know, do you understand how the Micrologix 1200 implements Modbus RTU? You know, and how, uh, what data you're going to get when you ask for address 4001 or 4010 or whatever. Um, that's, that's another piece of that too. You know, you're going to understand you're going to have to have that RS Logix 500 or RS Logix microfile to understand where the, the mapping, the channel configuration, how that was set up. So a uh, very broad question, not a lot of details, but I thought it was interesting. So I wanted to feature it today on the Automation Minute. Now, if you have your own question, of course, you can always post them over at the Automation Blog or click on the question link at the Automation Blog and submit it that way. Like, like I say over there, I can't guarantee to answer all questions, but if you don't submit it, there's actually zero chance we'll answer it, right? You got to, but if, you know, so submit your questions. We're trying to point everybody in a direction, but uh, we can't answer everybody, of course, obviously. Um, if you do have a question you have to have answered and you think I know the answer, of course, you can always support me over at automation.locals.com. It's one cup of coffee a month, and you get 30 days to ask your questions of me. So um, you can try that as well. There's also an ability over there to send me a direct message if it's kind of like proprietary, you don't want anybody knowing about it. Or you can do that as well. Of course, if you're enrolled in my courses, you know, I cover this and I cover, you know, if, if for instance, if this gentleman was enrolled in my PLC basics course, I would have kind of walked them through and showed them which lesson covers parts of this and, you know, shared some more information with them. So, uh, you know, I like to support my, my students, you know, there's no limit on that. They're lifetime courses. And as long as I'm breathing, I'll be supporting them because I love to do it. You know, so I just love to do it. But in any case, with that said, I want to wish you all a very safe happy and healthy week. And until next time, my friends, peace.